Hey guys, thanks for watching. I'm in Salisbury Country Club near Richmond, Virginia with Gavin Flo. How's it going? Good. Gavin Parker, the top <laughs> uh, young coach in America right now, according to Golf Digest. So as an, uh, now that you're like kind of have some kind of like a, uh, a title next to your name, like I just introduced you, if somebody, if you're talking to somebody who doesn't play golf at all and you're given like your elevator pitch for why a young person should get into golf, what would it be? They could play forever. There's no other game like it. Mm -hmm. It's just you and a ball with a stick mm -hmm. and you get to whack it and then you go look for it and then you do it again. It's so much like life. The more you play golf, the more that you learn that there's more to learn mm -hmm. and it's always fun to play. Right. And you can play with others anywhere. It's terrific. Right. <laughs> And so, did you play other sports before golf? I played soccer. Okay. I played soccer, and I was way better at soccer than I ever was golf. <laughs> right. Yeah, um, I would score a lot of goals, but for some reason, golf, it was the sound for me. Okay. The minute that stick hit that ball. The, the comebacker not, shot. Uh, yeah. Oh, it, it was everything. Yeah. Well, for some people, it can be how it looked in the air. For some people, it can be how it felt coming off the face. Yeah. But for me, it was the sound. Yeah. So, I never got that sound playing soccer, mm -hmm. where I think most people need to experience it for themselves mm -hmm. so this video gavin is going to be about and this is just like an ambush video he doesn't even know <laughs> what these videos are going to be about uh this video is going to be about uh so somebody's just say like has maybe like hit balls on the range a few times but now they're looking to seriously get into golf so golf mm. for beginners kind of thing okay and they have like a corporate outing coming up or something like that and they have like two weeks to start getting into the rhythm of being an actual golfer before okay. So how, how do you get people to start playing golf and what would you like people to, to start to develop in their practice to start being able to have some control over where it's going to go? Love it. Yeah. So I would say if we're going to start off an iron, I would put in a constraint of the ball cannot go a certain distance. Okay. So letting them know that, hey, how far can you move this tool, yeah. but the ball cannot go past some, some space. So let's, let's try that. Okay. And I love that already because somebody will always say like, okay. <laughs> Hit this 75% and I'll hit it uh, like 99%. Right. And then and then they'll say no, hit it 50% and I'll hit it 96%. But if you do, if you, I think it works a lot better for distance. than like it can't go past this basket or something like that. Than like percentage. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Okay. And the best thing about playing in the first place is you need some type of rules. Right. Good games have rules. So giving people boundaries. Um, to say, hey, you can do as much as you want, but it can't go past something, okay. it works great. So let's say on this yep. range here, you can see we kind of have like this thick grass. Yeah. So I would say, hey, I need you to get as many balls as you can in that thick grass. Okay. So then if they never played golf before, you know, just let them know that, hey, the purpose of this tool is to hit the ground. Mm -hmm. So let's see if you can make the ball stop there. So without anybody telling me, I know that I hit it too. Right, the thick grass. Bingo, or hit it too hard. So then they need oh, to make right, some type right. of adjustment. Okay. But I'd start with some type of constraint like that, mm -hmm. or maybe I would even put a cone or a basket or a prop yeah. or something. So, so yeah. something you said there, so if I was hit, hitting a ball this way, that Beautiful. you said that was really interesting, that you said in our other video is, the so you're saying the, the point and the goal of golf is not to hit just the golf ball? No. Oh, okay. No. So it's to hit the ground? Yes. So then where does the golf ball come into it? So the g golf ball gets in your way. Oh, okay. So most people, immediately, if they never played golf before, yeah. they're going to see ball and just go yeah. and miss it. Yeah. I like to go yeah, reverse. Whip. I like to teach the tool. Okay. Like if I was going to give someone a chopstick mm -hmm. or a fork, I wouldn't say, hey, here you go, and throw your food at it. Right. I would explain the purpose of the tool. Okay. Not enough people do that in golf. Mm -hmm. which I think why most people are pretty bad at golf in the first place. Yeah. And that's one of the biggest barriers to enter the game. So I start with the purpose of the tool. So Jack, come in here close, real close, and squat, squat down low right at the ball. So if somebody hasn't played golf before or hasn't played golf at a serious level before, what are the dynamics of what we want to happen as far as club ball interaction and then turf interaction? Beautiful. Something like this, this condition. That condition right there will be where the tool is. So it's coming in, it gets the ball, and then and then it starts to get some, what, some leaves. Yep. And then some dirt. Bingo. Okay. Bingo. 
which most beginner golfers, they've never played golf before, guys. Yeah. So they're going to look at this tool and be like, whoa, how to use it. So I like to explain that, hey, the club has some loft yeah. and that the club needs to be like this when you hit it. Oh, okay. So it looks something like Oh, nice. that. Yeah, perfect. Because most beginner golfers are only going to see this mm -hmm. and go, oh. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we've seen it before. Oh, yeah. <laughs> So that, then once, once they've graduated to like, okay, they can like reasonably be able to, to put the right kind of energy into it to get it to little shots here, little shots there, little shots there. Yep. How do we, where does it go from there? So then I would teach where they want to end up. Okay. So how should your body be moving? Okay. So I would like to, I always go with the, I mean, the simple, hey, put your hands here, mm -hmm. move your weight forward, like forward this way. Oh, yeah and then turn until your knees touch. And then when you finish, you should just feel like your belly button's the closest, highest body part to the target. So this oh, okay. is just basic motion. It's just move forward, turn, belly button up. And if they just practice that piece, knowing that every time they're done swinging, they have to finish there. Yeah. So then I would just add on to our constraint. Hey, maybe instead of just hitting it right where the thick grass is, maybe a little longer to where that ditch is or that drain, Yeah. move the tool finish here okay so the constraint i'll try that the, yep. const the constraint becomes the finishing form so we're going to like where the drainage thing is yep so the thing is it, it has to go somewhere around there and your knees have to be touching beautiful and, and your belt buckle is a little closer right yep. money all right now, do you like to go well, like when you're doing this do you like to go like a minimum or a maximum like Ooh. Like as far as like a constraint, I, yeah, I like, do like it can it cannot land any further than that, or it cannot land any shorter than that. I like to put a constraint on hitting it too far. Oh, okay. I like because people, people want to whack. Yeah. Bingo. Okay. So if you can learn to control your your power, your speed, or your energy, mm -hmm. or learn like to take it back, you can always ramp it up. Okay. What most people do, they go too fast. Yeah. So I like to give them, hey, you can't go long. Don't go long. So then, like as the, as they're getting more ball control and everything the thing that we see a lot of times is um one teacher said to me that like almost all golf problems come from a, a bad application of power like they think something's powerful that's not <laughs> yes so if somebody then starts really cut like because waist to waist we're basically like on on a plane right yeah. and then we have to start bending our arm and things can get crazy so how to then as we start building more power actually stay like more on plane for for this level so i would say for these players because that that's the thing they're going to hear all the time too is like to stay on plane so right. I, once again i would go constraint base mm -hmm. but i would use their hands and say hey i want you to give me swings where you feel like you only can move your hands shoulder to shoulder okay. especially if you only have two weeks to get ready to play in this tournament right. or whatever it is for a right. beginner golfer so i would then do swings where your hands can go hip Hip, mm -hmm. chest, chest, oh, okay. shoulder, shoulder. And then once they become proficient enough in just controlling those constraints, mm -hmm. I could, would then try to mix them up. Say, hey, give me a chest backswing, but a hip finish. Okay. Or a, you know, hip finish, shoulder follow through. Oh, so if they're over accelerating, you can do one. And Bingo. if they're not, yeah. Be and, and that's the key to like having people learn this game is to never tell them the thing to do allow them to learn to paint with every type of paintbrush yeah. with every type of different color yeah. and learn what is most repeatable and efficient for them okay instead of my oh you got to swing it like this or you got to be on plane and yeah. i'd like to throw those words away yeah i think starting with that balance do it so much with short game like yeah. so many people like when they're chipping or are short to, and they know if I'm chipping to that ball there, that this is not enough. I've, I've not loaded enough energy into this to make it get to that ball there. So they know that and they go only here and then they go, they have to go like that to try to, <laughs> yes. to zip it up. Yes. So that just hitting balance shots at first and then introducing some stuff that might be like a fault fix. hundred percent. Okay. Okay, cool. hundred percent. So there you go guys. Well, Give us a little recap. Yeah. So Always go tool first. What's the purpose of the tool? What's the tool want to do? The tool wants to hit the ground. If there just so happens to be a ball there, it gets in its way. Right. Then from there, teach where they should finish. Mm -hmm. Then from there, teach how far to swing 
or size of stroke. Yeah. And then after size of stroke, energy throughout the size of stroke. Yeah. And those four principles will at least get someone to hit a ball and enjoy themselves a little bit if they have two weeks to play golf. All right, so uh, enjoy yourselves, guys. You can contact Gavin uh, through Instagram, at Gavin Flow. His TikTok is the same, at Ga or I don't know if there's an at on TikTok. There's but it's Yeah, at Gavin Flow on TikTok. Or uh, how else can they contact you if they want to directly contact you about less Email, okay. www.ceoofjuniorgolf.com. Oh, okay. And then you also can, um, yeah, Instagram is probably the best way to go. Yeah. Thanks for watching, guys.